this was the first shoot in a long time where after run one, which is about three days ago, uh, I was tempted to run again in it the next day. And to me, uh, if I feel that way, I know that's a good shoe. We've got a great shoe to review today. We're talking about the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20. I've got a ton to say about this shoe. So uh, I'll be honest, when I first knew I was gonna be running in the shoe and need to review the shoe, um, I was a little hesitant because I'm, I'm what we call in the office neutrability, um, where I can run in neutral shoes, I can run in stability shoes, but I tend to prefer neutral shoes and I have uh, for quite a long time. And this is kind of the, the uh, norm stability shoe. It's kind of the, uh, that shoe that, you know, if we're pulling shoes for a runner that needs stability, this is one of the go-tos. And so I didn't know if I was gonna like the adrenaline. I haven't run in an adrenaline in probably six or seven years. And I was a little hesitant, but I'll tell you, I absolutely loved the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20. Um, and I'm excited to kind of give you my review, what I liked and a couple things that I thought um, you should know before you buy. So number one, you put your foot in the shoe, slip the foot in, it has a really slipper-like feel. Um, I liked, especially in the forefoot, um, there's, you know, there's no real overlays here. There was nothing I could feel, but it felt really soft and comfortable. Uh, and I like that a lot. Um, it, Without the overlays, you know, there's some shoes where I'll get little, you know, hot spots or blisters, nothing like that in this shoe. It had that just really nice slipper-like feel to it. Um, and again, I, I like that quite a bit. Um, also from, a, from an overlay, in the, um, in the midfoot of the shoe, there's not a lot there, which uh, especially some shoes lately, there's just been a lot in this area of the shoe, which can feel constricting uh, and almost too tight on my foot. Um, so not to have that, again, there, there's a couple in here, but not much. Um, and so for me, the shoe just fit really well. It fit my foot really well. Uh, and again, I'm on the kind of the borderline of needing uh, potentially a wide, uh, a wider uh, shoe. And so this was fantastic. I even, I think if you even have uh, a narrower foot, this is probably gonna be okay for you. Uh, but just because there's not a lot constricting your foot, uh, this just tends to work really well. From a heel fit standpoint, my heel was locked in. Uh, I didn't have any slippage or anything like that. Um, I would say, you know, compared to some of the other shoes I've reviewed recently, um, it wasn't the softest heel by any means, but it felt good. Again, right, uh, right when you put the shoe on your foot, the feel is really nice. So know that going in. Now, the reason I was hesitant, because again, I tend to gravitate towards neutral shoes that don't control my foot all that much. And for a long time, the Brooks Adrenaline was really um, almost like a motion control shoe. It, you know, it used to have this big posting in it and uh, it would really control the foot. Now they've, they've changed that a little bit and they use this, um, this guide rail system here. And here's what I would say. To me, this isn't even a stability shoe unless you need stability. This guide rail system, what it does, um, it kind of lets the foot do what it needs to do. And if you overpronate a little bit or even excessively, it's gonna slow that rate of pronation down. If you don't need to use it, um, it's not doing too much to control the foot. So for me, this felt like a really stable, neutral shoe. It didn't feel like a stability shoe to me. Uh, and, and that was, again, for me, fantastic. I absolutely loved the ride of this shoe. Um, I would say compared to everything else that I've had recently, um, this is, if not at the very top, right up towards the top. I think last week I said the New Balance uh, 1080 V10 was my new favorite shoe. This one is certainly giving it a run for its money. Um, it's not overly heavy. It's, it comes in at about 10 and a half ounces. Um, and the heel to forefoot transition was really nice in this. Uh, so overall, I would give this a, a very high grade from a functionality uh, perspective as well. It did what I wanted it to do with my foot on the road. Um, it, it has a good flex to it. So the heel to forefoot transition was nice. Um, it just, it felt like, just like a really good shoe on my foot. It felt, it did what I wanted it to do. Um, and that's what you want in a shoe. So I would give this uh, again, a very high grade. Some things to know with the shoe, for me, the heel was a little bit stiff. So upon impact, it just had, it was a little bit harder. Um, 
I think as I run a little bit more, maybe that you know tends to go away slightly. Right now, I've got about 16 miles in the shoe over two runs, um, and you know both were, were really good. I, I my feelings on the shoe didn't change from run one to run two. I kind of knew what I liked about it right off the bat, and that stayed true uh, on today's run. So um, I have. You know, it's funny, I have a a kind of a rule that I never wear the same shoe two days in a row. I just don't do it. Um, And this was the first shoe in a long time where after run one, which was about three days ago, uh, I was tempted to run again in it the next day. And to me, uh, if I feel that way, I know that's a good shoe. If I wanna run in it two days in a row, I know that that shoe uh, is really, really good and it works really well with my foot. So overall, Adrenaline GTS 20, go try the shoe on, give it a test run. I think you're really gonna like it. If you need stability or are on that borderline of, you know, you can get away with a neutral shoe or a stability shoe, I think this is gonna be a shoe that you should definitely have in your rotation. Um, Don't forget, VIPs get 90 days to test run all their shoes. You don't like it for any reason, bring it on back. We'll get you something that works better for you. Uh, And if you uh, are shopping online, VIPs get free shipping. So no excuse not to try this out. I think you're really going to like it. Again, Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20. uh, Give this a shot and we'll see you on the road.